Welcome back to another video of Spencer Studios. Yes, that's right. I am back with another new figure of NECA IT, the Pennywise. Uh, this is the many faces of Pennywise from the NECA figures. This is an actual really big uh, box for the ultimate figure of Pennywise. So let's hop right in. And first I'll show you about the box that I am very sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I've been really busy, but I am back now to show you all the new things about the new Pennywise. Having the first look at the box here, here we have Pennywise from the NECA IT, but um, also known as the horror movie IT from 2017 to 2019. Uh, this is the front of the box. It's one of those color changing, which you can see it has different patterns. If you move back and forth, the eyes can move, which is a very creepy detail, but it's really cool and it shows a lot of detail with the person that plays the IT character. Uh, here we have the IT uh, logo right here from the movies. And that's a ton of detail, I can't get over it. Uh, right here is the Many Faces of Pennywise. Uh, it's the, uh, the logo for this figure. And it's really cool, it actually shows a ton of detail, if my camera can focus. There we go. Um, it's actually really cool. And I like how it says Pennywise in red, because he has red balloons, and it best fits him. Looking at the uh, the side of the box, here we have different uh, types of, what's it called, uh, the, the faces of Pennywise. Uh, what I counted before that they came with uh, 10 different heads in this entire box, which is really cool. That's from It Chapter 2, Chapter 2, that's from Chapter 1, Chapter 2, that's from Chapter 2, 1, 1, and 1. Here we have the top of the box with the, again, the logo of the Many Faces of Pennywise. But also right here we have the warning for choking, uh, for choking hazards. Um, because in this set it comes with a lot of different accessories that are very small for little people to, um, to choke on. So, uh, yeah, keep this out of children. Also here's the other side of the box, which we saw on the other side as well, which is really cool. Here we get to the main back of the box. This is really detailed, and I don't think NECA has done this in a while. They haven't made a ton, a big box filled with different accessories and heads like this one. We have all the different heads it can come with, which I find to be really cool because I am a huge horror fan myself, and I have um, now the Pennywise after I watched the two Pennywise Stephen King movies. And uh, let's get inside to the figure. Getting a wonderful look at the figure here, we have all the different heads, but also, more importantly, here we have the many uh, different versions of the Pennywise heads. But right here is the wonderful figure itself. Here we have Pennywise. Yes, that's right, folks. It's the wonderful dancing clown himself, Pennywise. And this is a really detailed figure. Uh, after I got this figure, I now have two different Pennywises. So, um, I have this one, the Many Faces, and also the Dancing Clown set, which I got from Best Buy for at least $33. But right here, it's wonderful, and there's so much detail. But what I love most about this figure is just how many different heads it comes with, which we'll get into one second. But more importantly, let's get into the detail here. We have the perfect white face of the normal It Chapter 2 um, Pennywise. We have his nice orange hair with the red lines going up his face, and I find that to be a little creepy, but it's actually pretty cool because I like creepy, creepy stuff. We have the different clown outfits here, which relates back to a clown, obviously, especially a dancy one. We have the bonbons and all the different things on his front. And on the back, we also have the other side, and then right here, it's all the way down. We also have the pantaloons and the uh, the lace boots down here, which are also very detailed because I have the um, the other Pennywise I have also has lace boots. And uh, we'll also get to the hands in a second. These are the open palm hands, which we actually get to see in It Chapter 2 when he uh, goes for that kid in the mirror maze. And uh, yeah, I find this to be really interesting. So uh, actually, we should just, oops, it, one, one difficulty, it just has trouble standing up on itself. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's ten heads that we have for this figure. In the uh, let's start with the uh, it chapter two different heads. Even though they come with three and seven, uh, come with the other one. So right here, yes, right here we have the human version of Pennywise, which we get to see when um, when uh, well, obviously when you get to see him in the movie. Right here is the normal face of Pennywise when he was uh, alive back then. But also right here, it's really cool to see a human version of Pennywise. Still has the malicious eyes that he has. 
But uh, those red lines, that's not paint, just by the way. But also, it's really detailed inside the mouth as well. Um, as with all the NECA heads, it comes with a bottom with the little hole in the bottom too, which is really cool. And I gotta say, this head is very cool and you can use it for many different things. I wish it did come with a human version body, but it's still very cool to have the head. From the IT Chapter 2, also we have the Licking Face of Pennywise, which is also in the Mirror Maze too. I find this to actually be more silly than it is to be scary. This is really cool as uh, he licks the glass in the Mirror Maze, which is pretty cool with his very long tongue. The tongue looks really realistic and I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks pretty cool with the red lines and all the detail within the face. It's amazing. Same thing at the bottom. And the hair, it's also really detailed with all of the different heads too, which I find to be really cool. One of my favorite heads to use when I am displaying the figure is the smiling face. This is also known uh, to be in the May scene as he smiles maliciously at the kid in the mirror. So right here we have with his a, a lot of teeth, that's a lot of detail and it makes him look like he's really creepy. I love the different details in this. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite heads in the figure head so far. Moving on to IT Chapter 1, it's the normal face of Pennywise, which we have right here, which actually has different detail. It is sort of similar to the IT Chapter 2, just normal face as we see before, but this figure, um, this is just from IT Chapter 2, you can obviously tell by the hairstyle and the paint lines, and I find that to be really cool. Uh, it's also a good head to use if you're using just for basic uses. If you have the IT 2017 uh, Pennywise the Dancing Clown a set, here we have right here is a face that you can have actually uh, you can pay attention to. Right here we have the teeth. He's sort of in an angry mode when uh, he faces against the Dairy Kids, the Losers Club, in the movie. And I find that to be really cool and it's actually a good use for when he's probably biting something. But there is another head to use when he's biting something, which we'll come to in a second. Here we have the normal giant biting head. This is a my second favorite of the head pieces, which is actually really cool, which can be used for many uses. If you're using Pennywise and stop motions to fight other characters like for uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason, or Michael Myers, or even Candyman, the mouth is a perfect opportunity to put the weapons in. It's a perfect use and has tons of detail and also makes him more look like a villain. And I gotta say, this is really cool. Like, look at the eyes on that. They turn this side, they turn sideways, which is really cool. And it's sort of, you can sort of see in there. If, if you can see a little bit, it's when the light shines in there, it's just a little bit cool. It's really cool with the tongue and everything like that. One of my least favorite heads of the set, it's the version of when he's on the projector, when he's on the trip right next to Georgie. Uh, it's uh, it's alright, it's an alright uh, type of head. It has the hair blowing in the wind, which is pretty cool, but eh, it's, it's alright for a figure. It is from IT Chapter 1 also. This is another one of the smiling faces uh, from IT Chapter 1, also like how it looks like in IT Chapter 2, which is just a tad bit different, but it looks very cool with the uh, tons of detail that's in it, and the eyes look even, even meaner too, which is actually very cool. Finally, of uh, all the heads, is my third favorite. This is also in IT Chapter 1, where you face it against the Losers Club in the Haunted House. Right here, it's a hole uh, going from the side of his head all the way to this side of the head. You may be asking, or if you already have this set already, why is there a hole in his face? Well, you'll see why, and I'll just tell you just in a second uh, with the accessories. But right here, it's very cool with the teeth going all the way to the side, and I find out that this head is actually pretty cool. All right, moving on to the accessories here, we have the red balloon, which Pennywise uses throughout the movie, which I find to be really cool. It is not hollow, it's actually a very hard material, but I did not feel like taking off the hand, which I'll show in just a second, because it's very hard work to put into the tiny hole with these this wire that actually stays kind of still, but the balloon is a little bit heavier, and it'll tend to move to side to side. That's a really cool uh, like thing that you can use, like the accessory, but uh, it's it sometimes bends, but that's okay. Here we have a another accessory that goes around the neck of Pennywise. This is from It Chapter 1. They all vary uh, because in It Chapter 1, he is more messy, but while in It Chapter 2, he is more, he's more decent and he has more style. It is made out of rubber, so be careful when you're trying to bend this, but it is very easy to put onto the head of Pennywise, which I find to be actually excellent when you're trying to change characters. 
One thing I wanted to put together here, here we have the little paper boat. Yes, this is right. This is the paper boat that is used with Georgie. And if my camera can show just a little bit, um, it says SS Georgie on there. If you can read from afar, it says SS Georgie written in Sharpie, but it is made out of rubber and it is used uh, throughout the film. Uh, this is Georgie's boat before he got, uh, you know, eaten by Pennywise. But uh, something that I also want to show here is the arm of Georgie. Yes, that is right. Gore warning. This is a very cool accessory, especially for NECA. Um, it's a little tiny hand of a, of a little boy named Georgie. The raincoat hand is actually has a ton of detail, which actually is very cool. And uh, the hand is even detailed too, with the blood also being much detailed too, like his arm was ripped off, which literally it was. Finally, what I meant with the uh, the holes in the face right here, uh, this is the iron rod. This rod is used in the film to, to basically uh, poke Pennywise in the head, also puncturing his head. That doesn't do much because he's Pennywise. Uh, right here is the iron rod, which is actually pretty thin and flexible, so be careful when you're using this, but it can go right in the head through the hole, which I'll show you in just a second. <laughs> like I said earlier, you need to be careful when feeding this rod in through the hole because I had a little mishap right here, but uh, that's okay. Uh, so right here, as you see, it's perfect detail as the rod goes right through the head. You have to put it through the end first. You cannot put it in through the other way because it just won't work like that and you need to make sure you feed it through. If not, it will break and it'll end up in a disaster, but that's okay. Right here, it's perfect detail as it goes right through the head. Right, moving with the hand part. Yes, this is right, folks. This is the last part of the, the set right here. But right here are the different hands. Let's count real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hands. And that's a lot, actually. So starting off with the first one, also known as the werewolf hand, I want to put this in the hand area because, well, it is a hand. And it's I don't think it's much of an accessory. It's really cool. It shows the ripped glove that Pennywise has when he's reaching out his giant fingers for the uh, for the werewolf. werewolf. He's not transformed into a werewolf, but he just has the giant hands of one. And I find that to be really cool. It's, it's actually pretty big and can hold many things, which is really cool as well. Uh, so, right here we have a sort of like gripping hand. So for this hand, you can use it for holding the paper boat that Georgie has, or just even um, Georgie's hand, which is actually pretty cool as well. You can also hold uh, any other accessory, but it just can't be too thin. Uh, that goes exact same with the other one right here. Right here we have the closed fist hands, I guess if he's finding something or just using it in general. There's not much use for that, especially like with these two, they're just used for fighting. Right here, we have the sort of like claw hands, which is, it's an all right hand. I already have these ones, but they're sort of cool. They um, have different uses. They can use to grab stuff or even to claw stuff, but that's why the werewolf hand was included. And here is the uh, the balloon holding hand. Uh, it sort of looks like the uh, the P the OK sign, but that's also pretty cool. And uh, right here, it's also it's just a really cool hand uh, for grabbing things. Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> but it's also good for dropping. Uh, not dropping. Sorry about that. I met um, the uh, sort of like gripping hand. It's, uh, the, you know, NECA can't really, they can't focus on, uh, what's it called? Uh, sort of like gripping the the uh, balloon, sort of just like with a small hand. So they have to put a small hole through, which this um, actually cool wire can bend through. And it sort of looks like a white string for the balloon. And I gotta say, that's really cool. The figure, not big itself, I gotta say, compared to other figures like the NECA Michael Myers 2018 or even NECA Freddy Krueger vs. Jason Jason, uh, this figure is pretty small. Um, honestly, I gotta say, it's probably a 6.5 or even 7 inch figure because, uh, well, yeah, it's actually like really close to 7 inches. Uh, and I gotta say that this figure is an absolute 9.5 out of 10. That is correct. This figure is amazing. It's a really good figure for your horror collection. And where I got it, I got it on eBay. They don't really sell it at major toy stores or even collectible stores right now, like uh, Amazon or Target or even Walmart. You could just actually just find this well. You could just find it uh, anywhere. It was a really cool figure and I got it for, I'm pretty sure, $60 and that's a good bargain for me. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video down below and I hope you all enjoyed. Take care.